Chris, whole okay, KR Sunday, big game. Yeah, it's a massive game. A massive, massive game. We, it's, uh, it's a must win for, for us guys. Um, you know, they're always very, very tough to beat at home, and you know I think they've been playing particular. I think they've been playing well with you know without quite getting getting over the over the line. They sent the young team out there. They rested a few last week. Um, sent the young team to Wigan and, and watching the game, they, they had a real dig. And, you know, could have gone either way against uh, Huddersfield. It went right down to the wire against uh, Castleford. So yeah, it's a massive it's a massive game for us. And, um, you know, we certainly we, we, we get the, we get that win. That, that I think the better for everybody. You can't look at it as if if you lose, there's another bite of the cherry. It's a matter of just get this week out of the way, get that win out of the way. Yeah, it? yeah. We, you know, we, we everybody were deflated um, after the performance last week, and you know, we felt that we had enough field position last week to to come up with more with more points and. You know, bounce of a ball, and when the looks against you, it's against you. And a couple of try, you know, a couple of opportunities there where the ball bounces away from us. But um, hopefully, hopefully that look will change this this weekend, and we, um, you know, we come away from from Craven Park smiling. I mean, only had a few days to fit in last week. How do you think Esker and Tangata did? Yeah, I thought very good, very good. I thought Esker especially was, was a real threat with the ball and, and set up that try for for Joe Rundle. Really pleased with with Morgan. Um, and same with with Adzi as well. It's I think I think he struggled maybe with the with the speed of the game at, at, at times. Um, but he's had a he's had a good week with the with the boys. You know we pretty much threw him in at the last minute last week, and um, you know I thought he did a real good job for us. And you know he's a player that will get better week in week out. The more he more he gets to play with the likes of Copy and Ingi and Tanginawa and, and those kind of middle guys. Um, so yeah, you know, really pleased with with both them guys, and um, you know, looking forward to Chris Green as well playing this weekend. Uh, what do you make of uh, the signing of Ryan Atkins coming in? Obviously, it was rumoured for a long time he was coming in for next season, but you've got him as an additional body for this year as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think Ryan he'll be available for the for the, we're hoping he'll be available for the for the Wigan Wigan game. He won't won't be able to play in that Warrington game. So we'll get him for. We'll get him for two games. It's too early to, to push him for for this week, but he's had uh, a full week of training with the with the players, um, non non contact, and and just having somebody with his uh, you know with his experience and you know as a talker, he's, he's, he's Ryan. He's very he's pretty been pretty vocal already in in, in training, and you know as a player that's got uh, he's certainly got my respect. He's got the respect to the players, rest of the team, especially what he's what he's achieved in his. In his career, and um, you know, hopefully, uh, yeah, we, he'll, he'll do a really good job. I'm pretty confident he'll do a good job in the red, white, and blue. There's some players who only know the good times have been here for the last two, three years, perhaps, but the likes of Danny Kerman, who've been here through thin and thinner, I guess <laughs> their experience and their well, experiences will be crucial in the next few weeks. Yeah, we've got a few, haven't we? We've got Milky and and, and Riesling and, and some other guys that uh, you know all played in that. Uh, in that million million pound, you know, we're not for one minute thinking we're going to uh, be involved in a in a game like that. But I think their experience, yeah, their their experiences that that season in two thousand and and fifteen will, will really really help the um, really help the guys. You know, it's 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 a difficult position that we're in, but you know, I'd, I'd rather be in our position than than London's and than, than Hull KRs or, or Huddersfield's at this moment in time. So. You know we'll uh, you know we just worry about ourselves and um, you know I'm hoping that those senior guys that we've we've mentioned and, and Bruffy to some extent Bruffy's been involved in you know at Huddersfield a couple of really important games in the in the middle eights a couple of years ago uh, against Tokyo I think 2016 um, so um, yeah we're looking for these for these experienced players to really get us through this 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 tough period that we're in. He likes a drop goal that's uh, Craven Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I remember Campo hitting the post as well from about 50 metres out. That uh, that um, you know could have won OK the uh, you know could have won OK that game. Um, it unfortunately took him into that into that million pound game, didn't it? But um, yeah, listen, we've got some experienced players there. Um, you know, we know that we we're not playing well. It was some individuals that we need to try and. Get playing a little bit better, um, and uh, you know, give them a little bit of bit of bit of confidence. But you know, I'm I'm fairly confident in the in, in the group, and uh, you know, f- fingers crossed, we can get the job done this week. Well, you know, the confidence in the fan base goes up and down like a yo-yo. It's currently at the down part of things <laughs> at the moment. But you also, as you keep saying, you're in a good position 
almost need to just focus on what Wakefield are doing and forget about everyone else. Yeah, listen, I, I don't, you know, I don't listen to um, outside influences. Everybody's got their own own opinion. Um, you know, we've had a real tough tough spell this year for one reason or uh, or another, and um, you know, we'll just keep we'll just keep working working hard. You know, what I will say is we need those people need those people people behind us. It's a it's a real critical. Um, point of the season now for 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 us and um, you know we're all in this together. We're all we all want I mean, we're all wanting to achieve that one one goal, which is making sure we get a win so we we safe for Super League in in, in twenty twenty twenty. Um, that's the that's the objective and um, you know that's been the objective for the last couple of couple of weeks and we're confident there's a result just around the corner.